Welcome to the BewareCast, where I teach you about things that you need to beware of. When twelve monolithic vessels suddenly appear at various points around the globe, humanity is thrown into a tense and awestruck scramble to communicate with the beings inside. These beings, the Heptapods, are not hostile nor overtly benevolent. They are something else entirely. Enigmatic, detached, unfathomably alien. This is a closer look at the Heptapods from Arrival 2016. What we know of their biology, their language, their perception of time, and what their appearance means for humanity. The Heptapods derive their name from their seven-limbed radial body structure. They are unlike any terrestrial organism. Standing at an imposing height of around 20 feet, they possess no obvious head, no facial features, no visible eyes, and no apparent front or back. This radial symmetry suggests a completely alien evolutionary path, one not driven by the same environmental pressures we are familiar with on Earth. Each limb ends in a fine, flexible appendage, capable of articulating their complex, circular, written language. These limbs move with a fluid, almost hypnotic grace, suggesting strength and precision, but never aggression. Their bodies are shrouded in mist within their ships, which may either conceal or preserve their form. It's unclear whether they are aquatic, amphibious, or something else entirely, but their constant immersion in a thick atmosphere may hint at a high-pressure homeworld, or the need for a controlled environment. They never exit their chambers. This could be due to fragility in Earth's atmosphere, or it could be a form of separation, a deliberate boundary that allows contact without risking contamination or misinterpretation. What truly sets the heptapods apart is their method of communication. They possess a spoken language, referred to as heptapod A, composed of deep resonant vocalizations and complex tonal structures. But it is heptapod B, their written language, that defines them. Heptapod B is a logogram-based language, written in perfect circles. Each circle contains a complete, intricate thought, a sentence, a paragraph, or even a philosophical idea. They write by releasing ink-like trails from their limbs into the mist, forming these circles instantaneously. The speed and complexity with which they do this implies a vastly superior cognitive capacity, or at least one that is structured entirely differently from our own. The circular nature of their writing is not just aesthetic, it reflects their perception of time. They do not experience time linearly, Past, present, and future are simultaneous to them. As a result, they must know the end of a sentence before they begin to write it. This suggests a deterministic universe, one in which cause and effect are not sequential, but coexistent. As humans begin to learn this language, their minds begin to shift. They start to perceive time as the heptapods do. Linguist Louise Banks, the protagonist of the film, begins having visions of future events, emotions she has not yet felt, and memories she has not yet made. It becomes clear. The heptapod's language doesn't just change communication, it changes thought. It changes reality. The heptapod's ships themselves are obelisks of mystery. Each vessel floats effortlessly just above the Earth's surface, never touching ground, never emitting sound or heat. Their shape is deceptively simple, a smooth, dark, featureless shell that appears inert and impenetrable. Inside, however, is something altogether quite different. Gravity shifts. The rules of physics bend. The interior space is disorientating, a vertical chamber that defies logic. The heptapods dwell behind a translucent barrier, always immersed in mist. Whether this mist is a life support system, a cultural boundary, or a means of obfuscation is never explained. The heptapods allow entry on their own terms. At predetermined intervals, they open portals and allow humans to ascend. There is no indication of engines, propulsion systems, or even construction seams on the vessels. It's as though the ships simply appeared, existing without origin. 
They are more like cosmic sculptures than machines, objects with purpose beyond human understanding. Their technology seems less like a tool and more like a natural extension of their philosophy, silent, efficient, profound, and wholly alien. So why did they come to Earth? Unlike many depictions of aliens in popular culture, the heptapods are not invaders. They don't wage war. They don't seek conquest. Instead, they come bearing a gift, their language. They claim humanity will help them in 3,000 years. And by teaching humans to perceive time as they do, they are planting the seeds for that future help to manifest. This suggests a species that is not only intelligent, but foresighted in a way we cannot fully comprehend. They act not from need or fear, but from certainty. To them, the future has already happened. Their gift is not altruism, it is necessity. And yet, it is not a manipulation. They allow humans to choose, to understand, to rise. Their purpose is both profoundly alien and deeply intimate, to expand human consciousness in preparation for something far greater than we can imagine. Despite their immense power and knowledge, the heptapods are not omnipotent. Their greatest strength, their perception of time, may also be their greatest vulnerability. They cannot act spontaneously. They must adhere to the flow of events as they already know them to be. This makes them passive in moments of crisis, unable to intervene when humans act out of fear or misunderstanding. They also depend on humans being willing to learn. Their method of communication is not immediate. It requires time, trust, and profound cognitive shifts. If humans reject their language, their entire mission fails. Their power does not come from force, but from influence. That influence can be ignored. Furthermore, their inability to exist outside their controlled environments may limit their reach. They remain isolated, hidden, distant. If conflict had broken out, they might not have responded. Or perhaps, they simply knew it wouldn't. The heptapods are not just aliens. They are a metaphor for understanding, for unity, for breaking the barriers of perception. They challenge us to rethink our place in the universe, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, and temporarily. They represent a future where humanity does not dominate, but participates. Where we are not the centre of the story, but one part of a vast and interconnected timeline. By the end of Arrival, we are left with a haunting truth. The heptapods didn't just come to Earth, they came to change us and through their language, they gave us the power to change ourselves. The question is, are we ready to listen?